The people that you are most positioned to help are, are just in a place in life where you used to be that maybe you overcame and came through. So that's why it's so important to tell your story. And anytime you get an opportunity to do that, you should do it. Oh man, so being the interviewee is a totally different feeling than being on the interviewer. So the interviewee or the interviewer, there it's my responsibility to make sure that the conversation goes in a in a certain direction. You know, I'm hosting a show, I'm hosting a podcast. That podcast has an objective. And um, but at the same time, I'm there for the uh, for the person to bring the best out of the person and whatever it is that they're there to promote or talk about, right? So, being the interviewee, again, I always want to bring the best out in other folks. However, um, like I don't always know the direction that they're going to go. So for me, it's a little bit of a challenge. It's always being able to be good to be quick on your feet. You know what I'm saying? And um, so and. I can learn from everybody. If you're not learning from every single person that you encounter, you're not looking hard enough because everybody's got gifts and everybody brings something to the table that maybe you don't have or haven't thought of yet. So it's, it's always a learning opportunity if you look hard enough. Another reason that I like um, being on other people's shows is because again, you know, they have their an audience that may not be um, familiar with me, but like, you know, my, my whole life, you know, I'm, I'm living this gift of life and i'd say this a lot you know being a father i'm writing a story every single day through my actions and how i live and my kids are reading that book they're reading that story every single day because they're watching everything that i do so i think it's very important to tell your story and everybody has a story that's the thing a lot of people just don't think their story matters but it does because check this out you need to tell your story because the people that you are most fit to help the person the people that you are positioned best to help are the people who are where you used to be you know a lot of the stories that we pay attention to the most are from people that are you know in the spotlight the most what i've found is you know some of the greatest stories are from the people that you would least suspect them to come from cool hop in Welcome to my baby. I love this Jeep. I've always wanted one. And I don't know nothing about it. What engine does it have? Don't know. What size tires? Don't know. It's it's awesome and it's black. That's what I know. And I love it. Some of the greatest stories are, I, it's, it's like the underdog story. I mean, Hollywood's been making amazing movies that we all love based around the underdog for, you know, since, since it became, since the films and stuff became an art, right? Every underdog, um, or everybody that became somebody, a person of interest, or somebody that people follow and keep up with, well, they probably weren't born that way. You know, somebody gave them a platform or an opportunity, and they cashed in. They made they made they made a great op experience or a great opportunity out of something that wasn't necessarily um, that wasn't necessarily like on the, maybe on their radar or something, right? So uh, again, like all the great people that we know and, and study today, like seriously, Kelly Clarkson, nobody would know who she was if she didn't take advantage of a great platform and an opportunity in, in a first season of American Idol, right? It's very important that you tell your story, even if it's on the smallest platform possible, because you never know who's gonna run across it or find it and, and, and be helped by that. And at the same time, if everybody that you pay attention to and listen to or look up to you or whoever, wherever it is you find your hope, like, you know, you just need to vet your source. You need to, you know, is that person actually who you want to be? There's a saying like, you know, you never want to meet your heroes because after you meet them, they might not be your heroes anymore. Right? So there, there's, there, it's, it's a very, very deep, um, deep thing that we're, that we're talking about. But like, you know, a lot of people might not tell their story because they're not comfortable telling it or they don't think anybody wants to hear it. You tell your story, not for you, for them. That's the key. So if you make it about helping others, if you make everything you do about helping and serving others, 
um, a lot of things seem to fall into place for you and that's how you find your calling that's how you find what you should say what you should do and what you should be doing every day it gives your life purpose